hello good day guys and you're welcome again to another tutorial i want to show you something about the modeling on product structure how that you can have your columns labeled with the same um, representation all through the stories right in the previous versions of our softwares you discover that we have um, our columns and beams labeled in a disorganized way or not fully organized way so to say yeah but on product structure 2021 and um, there is a way that we can have our columns labeled in an organized way sequentially and properly so i'll be showing you how to do these in simple steps how you can have your column labels and member labels accordingly yes in case you're watching you're making contact with my videos for the very first time i would like that you use the like button and that you subscribe to my channel and so that you can always catch my releases first hand on this channel right so let me show you this in a little step right so this is a particular project that i'm currently working on and um, uh, this is a 3d view of the project now but this is what i'm trying to show to you um, as you can see there are several columns at, on different stories now but these columns are carrying different labels Pro probably you see it better on the plan now for example this column on grid line a a1 is saying that it is two column 53 two columns 53 and the normal case we're supposed to have this in the story before it that is story one to be one column 53 right since this is two column 53 if it's a continuous column on several floors it's supposed to be one column 53 and on the second floor be two column 53 right so but in any case you discover that if you check very well on your plan a1 a1 here is telling me that i have one column 55 and the one above it is saying two column 53 so it's supposed to be 53 53 or one one or two two so that it shows continuity of that particular column not that you find this one as one column one here then you get to another floor you'll be finding um two column one here right so but that structure has helped us out with finding solution around that and i'll be showing you that in a very simple very simple way so you'll just go to um review you select review on this tab then you see something here you see relabel members relabel members so we want to relabel our members to fit in correctly so you select that yes now what we want to relabel is columns or maybe beams also columns beams you may relabel slab as as it suits you all right so with this one now you just click on okay having all your settings here done to suit you columns and slab says you want to label from left to top then right bottom left top to right bottom that is top left or you call it left top to right bottom or bottom right right so on the wall with the for the walls and beams i am doing for the top left or left top to right bottom or bottom right so whatever suits you as a setting here please do it all right so i'll press ok having confirmed all my settings here so of course it will alter my building analysis but plus make sure that you do this before you run your building analysis because it's going to affect all that you do now you discover that my column now is one column one for grid line a1 one column one now let me check for the second story of the same column continuing let me see so we have this one to be you see that this one has two column one here because of the cantilever 
Now, but let's check some other columns. Let's see what's up with it. It definitely should work. Now, this is one column eight. One column eight on grid line C. On grid line C, what is that? Sorry, I have a long grid line C3. So, on grid line C3, I have one column eight. So, let me check the next story and see what's up with it. So you see that this one is giving me two column eight, two column eight. Okay, so that's exactly how it works. Let's check one more column to confirm that this thing is actually working. So on um, grid line E, grid line E, this particular column, which is two column ten. Let's check what it's saying on the lower ground floor. So you see it's saying one column 10. So that is exactly how to relabel your column to work accordingly, um, according to the continuity. Right. So let's check one more before I close for this tutorial. And in case you're joining us for the first time on this channel, please use the subscribe button. This is a way of encouraging us to do more and to release solutions as to your structural designs and to make it simple in any case so let's check one more like i said let's check this this big column one column 17 let's go to the next story and see what he's saying so we have two column 17 so that's how you go about your member relabel and to have your work properly done thank you for staying around i am joshua the designer and sure to like to subscribe and to share this video with your friend tell your friend about our channel and we'll meet next time bye